using bags on the Brompton is a great way to increase its functionality. From things like grocery shopping to riding to the office, bags add a ton of convenience and possibilities to your bike ride. Today, I'll cover 10 bags that can be used with the Brompton, from $500 all the way down to 99 cents. I'll cover their main features and what I like or dislike about them, starting with the Brompton Freytag backpack. This is called the Freytag 748 Coltrane. I talked about it in detail on a different video, which I'll link to in a video description, but here's a summary. The Coltrane is handmade in Europe from reused materials, and it's perfect to carry a laptop and other personal items to school or work. It attaches to the Brompton like any other Brompton bag, but its main feature is that it can also be worn as a regular backpack. Not only that, but it's extremely easy and intuitive to go from one mode to another. The feature that I like the most about the freight tag is how well the straps lock magnetically to the back of the bag. It's brilliantly designed. What I dislike? The price. The freight tag bag is sold for $440 plus tax, making it the most expensive option offered by Brompton. But it's high quality, so if money isn't a problem, I'll say it's totally worth it. Next on the list is the Woodencraft Pilot Camera Bag. Despite its small capacity at 7 liters, this bag is packed with a ton of features. On the outside, there are external pouches that can be used to carry personal items or a water bottle. These pouches are attached to the bag using quick-release buckles, meaning that we can quickly remove them from the bag if we don't need them, or even attach them to different places, like the straps on a backpack or the belt loop on your pants. There are many uses for these. The front of the bag has a fidlock magnetic buckle that can be operated with a single hand. It doesn't open if you pull it straight, so you need to slide it sideways in order to open. To close, you just need to set both parts close to each other and they will magnetically lock together. The internal compartment is relatively small, but good enough to carry a mirrorless camera, an extra lens, and a microphone. On the outside, there are additional straps that you can use to carry a tripod. What I like the most about this bag is how good it looks and how sturdy and well made it is. What I don't really like is the size. I think 7 liters is a bit too small, but they do sell a 10 liter version that may be a better option for my case. It retails at $209, but there is an additional $45 for the Brompton frame, which is sold separately, and $8 to upgrade for the magnetic fidlock buckle at the front. Next is the Brompton City bag for the Brompton Electric. This is the only official Brompton bag available for the electric Brompton, aside from the small essentials bag that comes stock with the bike. It holds the battery in the middle and leaves enough space to carry a laptop, a change of clothes, and even a lunch bag in the interior. There are also two side pockets on the back for additional storage. One can even carry a battery charger along if they want to. What I like the most about bags for the Brompton Electric is the quick release system where you just have to press a button and the bag disengages. It's a lot more convenient than the luggage block lever on the standard Brompton. What I dislike about the city bag is that the capacity is very limited and things like grocery shopping becomes inconvenient on the Brompton Electric. The city bag retails for $250 plus tax, which is reasonably priced compared to other Brompton bags. Next, I'll talk about a Brompton bag that has been discontinued, but still one of everyone's favorites. It's the tea bag. Designed for bicycle touring, it features the highest capacity among all Brompton bags. I've certainly pushed the limit on this one, using it for grocery shopping multiple times and it never let me down. I'll leave a link to the video where I unboxed and reviewed this bag for the first time. There is nothing I dislike about it, which is the reason I was sad to hear it was discontinued. The tea bag has been replaced by the Brompton Borough bag, which now retails for $225 plus tax. Next is the fantastic bag by Valeria's Bike Accessories. This is smaller than normal Brompton bags, but it's the perfect size to carry a 13-inch laptop and other personal items to a cafeteria or to school. What I like the most about this bag is how stylish it is and how tiny it looks while still being able to carry a lot. The rear pockets, for example, are small enough to snugly carry your smartphone, but big enough to accommodate a water bottle. This bag is sold for $140, and the only downside that I can think of is that it doesn't come with a rain cover. The next one is also made by Valeria, and it's the grocery bag for the Brompton Electric. This was a real game changer for me. It has significantly more space than the Brompton City bag, which makes it ideal for grocery shopping. 
The extra space and the style made this my go-to bag for the Brompton Electric. I use it for grocery shopping, for riding to the gym, or even going to restaurants to meet friends. I cannot stress enough how much this bag changed the way I use the Brompton Electric. At $120, it's a steal. The only downside is that it doesn't come with a bag frame, which is the same as the city bag, so you may need to purchase that separately. And it also doesn't come with a rain cover, so I use the one for my tea bag. Next is the Vincita Nash Rack Bag. I've covered this before on the channel, but it's a bag designed for the rear rack of the Brompton that snaps in and out of the rear rack in a matter of seconds. It also has expendable side pockets that, when fully extended, don't hit your heels while paddling. This is, in my opinion, the best rear bag solution for the Brompton. The only downside I can think of is that it needs to be removed from the bike in order to fold it. But I guess there's no way around it. The Nash Rec bag is sold for $109. This next one is also made by Vincita, and it's the Nova Saddle Bag. Now, in my opinion, this is by far the best balance between affordability and versatility, and I'll tell you why in a minute. This bag has two buckles at the top, which are used to attach to the seat rails, and two velcro straps further down to attach it to the seat post. It has a side opening and a decent amount of space inside. What I like the most about this bag is that it doesn't have to be removed from the bike when it's folded up. Just release the two velcro straps from the seat post and slide it down. That way, the Nova saddle bag can remain on the bike at all times and serve as additional storage when grocery shopping or even for traveling and bikepacking. Although the Nova saddle bag was designed for the seat post, I found that it also fits the M handlebar on my Brompton Electric and I see no reason why it wouldn't fit on the S handlebar, but I haven't tested it. Just attach the upper loops to the handlebar and the velcro straps to the stem and there you go. It rubs a little bit against the cables at the bottom, but I don't think it interferes with the ride quality at all. In this configuration, the bag does not interfere with the fold, although it will make the bike wider. Besides fitting on two different positions on the Brompton, I also use the Nova bag attached to the rear rack on my touring bike and to the upper triangle of my Broly Travoy cargo trailer to increase its cargo capacity. I'm absolutely impressed with the versatility of this bag and how reasonably priced it is. The Nova saddle bag is sold for $45 and the only downside is that it doesn't have a rain cover. Next, this is one of my favorites. It has also been featured on this channel before and it's the B-Twin bottle bag from the Cathlon. Similar to the Nova saddle bag, it has three loops that make it easy to secure and attach it to the handlebar on a Brompton. It does fit a water bottle, but I've always used it to carry personal items like my wallet, my phone, or even my camera. For $7, it's a lot of bang for your buck, and I don't see any downsides on this product. Finally, this is the small Whole Foods reusable bag. It's obviously not made for the Brompton, but don't dismiss it just yet. This costs 99 cents, it can be folded down to fit underneath your bike seat, and it's very useful to increase your cargo capacity when going to the supermarket or as your single solution to carry stuff in your bike. Because of the shape of the M and H handlebars on the Brompton, the straps are held at the very center of the handlebar, close to the rotation center, meaning it hardly affects the handling of the bike at all, and I barely feel it's even there. All I know is that I've been thankful several times for having this bag on a bike whenever I needed it. Well, those were the 10 bags that I wanted to show you today, from $500 all the way down to 99 cents. Let me know which of these bags was your favorite. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing if you haven't already. To all of you, thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next one.